Hello everybody, this is Vincent from Affiliate Theme.io and this video is about the Rakuten plugin from our uh, Affiliate Theme. So um, in order to install this plugin, you just go to the import tab down here and you have a list of all um, Affiliate Network plugins we offer. So in that case, we are looking for um, the um, Rakuten uh, APIs. This is the last link down here. You just download the zip file, save it on your hard drive. After you did this, you go to plugins, click add new, click upload plugin, drag and drop the file here where it says choose file. Uh, click install now um, and then the plugin will be installed and last but not least you should click activate at the end of the process so that the theme actually works without clicking activate nothing is going to happen so bear that in mind keep that in mind and um, well I already installed it but didn't um, activate it yet so I'm going to activate the Rakuten API so after activating the plugin, we go to the import tab and a new link will appear, in that case, Rakuten. So we're going to click this. Uh, and once again, here you have um, the general settings as the first tab. And here you have to identify yourself um, as an active partner of Rakuten. Um, and so you have to be a part of the affiliate network already in order to use that. So if, if you are already a partner and you're wondering where to get the API key, um, the Rakuten catalog uh, from, and you can see that those are mandatory, otherwise this thing doesn't work, you go just to our documentation. So if you go to documentation, you can just search for Rakuten and you will be directed to this page here. And um, here it's just um, explain in detail like where from you will get all the, um, uh, the information. Uh, regarding uh, your login data. So after uh, entering um, your login data, you can uh, first of all define if a product is imported, should it be published right away or should it be a draft? So just think of this option like a post. So if, if you write a post on your blog, you might want to publish it right away and make it um, available to the public or you might just want to save it as a draft and maybe colleagues should just like take a look at it so you can define here if an imported product will be automatically published or should first of all be imported as a draft so like it's your preference like if what uh, suits you uh, the best and then again you can define if the description of the product should already be imported so in some cases just think about Amazon, for example, there's already an, uh, a product description um, for um, specific products and you can just import this text and our images. Um, and um, well, then you already have plenty of information on your website. Maybe you don't want to do this because this information is not always like um, of the very good quality. So take that into consideration but in some case it, uh, cases it makes sense so then you can define the update process settings so this basically um, means that the theme regularly checks the products you imported so checks if anything has changed so there's like your uh, information on your website and the information on the server in that case of Rakuten and maybe the price has changed maybe the URL has changed maybe something with the product apart from price and URL have changed. So um, you can define if this should be regularly updated or not. I'm going to just um, keep uh, the settings as they are right now. Um, so if the product is checked, you can also, for example, say like, okay, the product is not available anymore. This basically says so like, so our theme checks okay the monitor you imported for example to your website is not available anymore um, well what do you want to happen do you want to set the product as a draft so that people don't see it anymore um, or the other options displayed right now we're just going to keep do not check so next let's move on to the search tab um, here again you have a bit more options than you have with the 
eBay plugin, for example, because um, Rakuten is an affiliate network, uh, for example. So, um, so for example, uh, well, there are a lot of partners from Rakuten. And for example, here we have like Macy's UK, for example, um, or plenty of other partners here from, from different countries. And Rakuten acts as like an intermediate institution between us affiliates and um, the shops that exist all over the internet. So they say like, okay, we import the products from the shops existing uh, and give the information of this product in, in a comprehensive form to the affiliates that again, like give this information finally to the, to the client of that is in that case on your website. So this is what they're sort of doing. It's, it's similar to CJ affiliate or the uh, affiliate net, um, network. And yeah, this is why, why I'm saying this is because here you can choose from different shops and you might wonder, well, I, I'm working here in the Rakuten shop. So why do I choose the shop again? That's why, because they cooperate again with other actual shops. So, um, that's how it is. So you can just choose uh, some some shop here of your preference. Uh, again, search for a keyword and enter a lot of options. Like if you search for a very general term, like I don't know for um, some topic, um, you might want to specify like it should be maximum hundred euros the price and like how the results down here should be um, displayed. And um, well, uh, you can do this and then the list will be displayed here and you can uh, import the product. So just to give you an example, I randomly searched for wheel uh, and this gift gave me a long, long list of uh, products. Um, and this might not be what you're searching for. You can see that like here are 7000 results. So you might want to um, add some um, criteria here. So you really just find the product. Uh, you're searching for um, and how this actually works. Like if you import a product, there are two different options here, like the regular import and the quick import. Um, please take a look at the um, Amazon video um, in our documentation and on, on, on our YouTube channel. Uh, there I um, really explain the difference between the quick import and the regular import. So the next step up here is the API log. Um, so um, every e event in the context of the Rakuten plugin in that case uh, is tracked um, in the uh, API logs. So for example, if a product is imported or also if a product um, is updated, this will be um, listed here. And like if you run into any error or product is updated and you miss uh, some data or something get lo gets lost, I recommend you to take a look at this API log and you might find uh, or you might have like a hint where this um, problem comes from. And next, let's move on to the button tab. Um, here you can define how the buy button for products that are important from imported from the Rakuten theme looks like. So um, in that case, it just says buy now and buy now at percentage S. So this percentage S means Basically, it's an abbreviation for percentage shop. So uh, for this percentage S, always the name of the corresponding shop, in that case, Rakuten is displayed. So if you take a look at the front end, it will say buy now at Rakuten, for example, in that case. Or if you define this for Amazon, it will say buy now at Amazon, for example. Um, so what you can define this um, how you like it, so like the, that the customer just sees the distinction between the buy button so he can see like this product can be bought from this and that shop. So last but not least, we have the help tag. So this will bring you again to our documentation page. So if you have any further question, just try to like um, consult this page and uh, you will probably find an answer or just take a look at our forum um, and discuss it with other um, users of our 